I'm Dan, and this is Art, and we're from Moose Meat and Marmalade, and our plan today is to cook some wonderful, healthy food that's really great for people that need to cut out sodium, or at least reduce sodium from their diet. We're gonna show you some tips, some techniques, and you're gonna end up with a delicious meal. This is all about fresh, delicious, vibrant, healthy food. What are we gonna make? Something with flavor, I hope. We want to, we want to add a lot of flavor because renal diet excludes salt and sodium, right? How about if we can make it energy efficient so you use one pot to do two parts of the meal? That's how I cook all the time, man. Should we get cracking? <laughs> Let's do it. So, What's your plan? You've got, you've well, got a I've menu, got, right? I've got a, I've got a plan and I thought we would do a potato salad, crushed potatoes with herbs, um, a salad of asparagus and arugula and zucchini, and then some roasted salmon with salsa verde. Give me something to well, do. Well, why don't you cook, cook the potatoes? My understanding is we want to try and remove some potassium. Boil them twice and throw away the water and you remove more potassium. If you cut them up rather than cooking them whole, you also remove potassium. And we're, of course, not gonna put salt in the water. Are, are we allowed to use butter, saltless butter, salt -free yes, butter? Yes, we have butter. Butter's fine. Now salmon, this is lovely salmon. This is spring salmon, often known as king salmon, or the correct term is Chinook salmon. So we're gonna pan roast the salmon. Pan roasting, a technique we see on menus in restaurants. We're probably trying to avoid restaurants to cut down on sodium. Skin on, skin off. Skin, skin off. off. I'm not, can you believe it? Gonna put any salt on here. Okay, so lay the fish in and Lay it in, and then the key thing is leave it alone. Don't touch it, don't prod it, don't poke it. Just leave it. I think, right, right. I think what we've achieved is perfection. Well, what we're gonna do is take some time. Look at this. Love it, I love that. Yeah, I love, I so love we're gonna that. take this time, put it all over the top like that, take the whole thing, and pop it in the oven. And now I thought we'd make salsa verde. Salsa verde, green S sauce. Green sauce, indeed it is green sauce. And we are using capers. Normally we'd use anchovy as well. Anchovy is very salty. Capers can be very salty. But we have to remember that we're not gonna use much on this dish. So we're using no salt whatsoever in the entire dish. And the only little bit of salt will come from the capers, but we'll use a very small amount on each fish. So in actual fact, this is incredibly low sodium. All right, what are we gonna do with the capers? Well, I've got a trick up my sleeve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to remove some additional sodium from the capers, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna squeeze some of that brine out, and I'm gonna give them a rinse. And now, we've reduced the sodium even more so. Pop that in there, good. Okay, what do you want in there? Garlic. I want how some. How many cloves? How many do you want? Three, two. two. Mustard, go One for it. One tablespoon? Why not? Uh, mint and parsley, put some, put some in like that. All right. You do some mint, get some mint, get some mint in there. A bit more mint? So you want uh, any liquid in there? Yes, I think we want a mixture of olive oil and canola oil. So some canola yeah. oil and some olive oil like right. that and nothing wrong with a splash of water. All right. We all know it's healthy to have some water in our diet. Very good. Now. So you want me to go ahead and blend? All the way in there, in and out, in and out. You're doing very well. It's looking like a, a sauce. There we go, good enough. You are allowed to use a certain salt substitute, like dash or something, some, once in a while? Arguably, there are things you can use. As but long as they don't contain sodium. As long as they don't contain sodium. And this, even though there's mustard and capers, we're using a very, very small amount on the entire dish. Right. So let's move so on. Just set this aside. Set that aside. Oh, look at that smoke. How's that salmon doing? We're Is gonna pull our salmon yeah. out now. So temperature, 400 degrees. Now don't you forget that handle is hot. So we're not gonna cook the top side in this case. Nope, You're we're just, just gonna, gonna leave, it, it, yeah. leave it. Just leave it like that. And that will, that will just finish cooking all the way through. Now, piece of butter, because we are allowed butter. Okay. Take some butter, 
and just put a bit of butter over each salmon, unsalted butter. Okay. So we'll leave, we'll leave that. Should we get onto our salad, do you think? Yeah, let's do that, man. Here's my idea. We've got water boiling there. <laughs> Why not cook our asparagus straight in that go. water? There we go. All Good right. Good enough. Good enough. We're going to peel some zucchini, and I think using a peeler is a very easy, safe way to get lovely strips of zucchini like this. Can you find some arugula there, please? How much arugula do you want? Well, One some. One handful. Maybe a bit more. Two handfuls. So there's our arugula. See our asparagus? Our asparagus is cooked, and I have a little trick. Just get your asparagus, put it in a bowl, and run some cold water over it. So, salad ready to go. This is the key thing. It's How not do we bring what it to life? Nope, that's going on the salmon. Oh. Lemon juice, lemon zest, and olive oil. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to check these. I'm so, you start this off. crushing those up with some butter and any herbs you like parsley, mint, I get the arugula. I get to strain this, right? Yeah. And there's more herbs in the fridge if you want them. Yeah. And you said add anything. Well, I mean, within reason. I think some nice, <laughs> I think some nice herbs. Um, I've got basil. Would you like some basil? Yeah, basil would be good. How's that? All for right, you? perfect. There we go. So, lemon zest. The trick with lemon zest is this: when you're rubbing the lemon, don't rub it for too long in one place. You don't want to get the white stuff in Correct, there. the pith. The pith. Go like this, just get the zest off, lovely. And now lots of juice. Lemon juice. Now some olive oil, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to rough these up. You don't want the mass, just roughed. Rough. Do you want a little dry dill? Yeah, let's put a little bit of that in, all right? I need a tiny bit of olive oil. Okay. Okay? Not yeah. much, because I didn't go crazy on the butter, but I don't want dry potatoes. When we're used to cooking with salt, and I know many of you are used to cooking with salt, and then you're told you have to go onto a low sodium diet, taste the food. This is flat. So I'm going to go with more lemon juice and a little more olive oil. You can always bring food to life, but you have to taste it to know it needs something. And in this case, it needed more lemon. Watch this. We're going to slip underneath there. Oh, you see? That is what you're looking for. That's what you get in restaurants, and so often people find hard to recreate at home. But that is pan-roasted fish. And the color, the taste, everything is fabulous. We successfully cooked a lovely salad, fresh and light and zingy. We pan-roasted salmon, we made salsa verde, we did sort of something to some potatoes over here, and it's all come together as a low-sodium, healthy meal that anyone can make at home, not particularly expensive to recreate, and will last a few days, and you can eat from one big platter. Thank you, everybody.